We're gonna do two things today, Andre. What is this? This is our uh, K truck from Japan. Okay. It's a Honda Acti. Okay. And we're gonna take it up one of our classic TFL hills, and that is, of course, Tombstone. Oh boy! Oh my God! Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it's like being on a roller coaster. But because, well, we don't fit very well, we're gonna actually tow it to Tombstone with the Toyota. So we're gonna see how the Toyota tows. Okay. And then we're gonna do two videos. We're gonna do the Toyota towing video, and then we're gonna take this and the Toyota up Tombstone over at TFL Off-Road to see how well that does off-road and how well this does on Tombstone. And this is a four by four little truck. It is. Yeah. With dry rotted tires. Okay. <laughs> it should be fun. All right, should we load it up? Yeah, let's do it. There you go. I'll drive it up. All right. How much do you think it weighs? So the trailer weighs about 3,300 pounds. Yeah. The Acti, we haven't weighed the Acti exactly, but I think it's between 1,500 pounds and 2,000 pounds. So we're towing about 5,000? Yeah. I've up the world's steepest steep country road. <laughs> dirt road. Coming today on so the TFL. We probably will need four wheel drive, dude. Yeah, it'll be a good test of four wheel drive. Yeah. And then going up Tombstone will be a good test of four wheel drive. And you guys may be wondering, are we going to take it back up the ironclads where it broke? Yes. The answer is yes. At the end of this video, we're going to surprise you with something. Um, so stay tuned, but let's get the Acti up there. Let's tie it down. You know, the problem, Andre, off-road for this is going to be that it doesn't have a low range. Right, that's an issue. Yeah. Or oh, could be an issue. Could be an issue, yeah. All right, well, let's tie it down. All right, let's tear it down. Urban, so I have some good news and some bad news. All right, give me the good news first. The good news is that the Tacoma is capable of towing up to 6,500 pounds. Which we're way under. Yeah, we are under that. It's not class leading, but still a good rating. The bad news is when we bought the truck, we didn't want to go for those premium packages. So we didn't get a brake controller. We did not get a brake controller. So we're using this Prodigy RF, which is a remote brake controller. So this blue wire from the trailer is going into it and the black wire from the controller is going into the truck and then there's a handheld unit so it's just an extra step so can we get the brake controller installed in our truck at the dealer can we get it added I, on after the I, fact i think so yeah, because there's a there's a place in the dash for it yeah this is pretty hokey i mean it works but it works but it's not i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend it as a permanent solution yeah and what's the weight that you have to have a brake controller at? In Colorado, it's over 3,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. Your trailer must have brakes. Yeah, well, that makes a lot of sense. So, yeah. Especially well, <laughs> going down that steep road coming back. That's going to be a necessity. Yeah, that's going to be huge. So, Andre, how do you uh, calibrate this handheld controller? <laughs> so, first of all, it plugs into a 12 volt, yeah. which I just did in the Tacoma. Then you have the gain. It's actually this wheel. And my brake pedal, I'm just pushing it now, I'm in neutral. So let me roll forward and I can have a manual override. Do you feel that? That's, That's too little, much. It's too strong. Yeah. So I need to back it down. Back it down a little bit. Hey, so uh, who's this video brought to you or us by? <laughs> this Tacoma series would not be possible without our friend Scott O'Sullivan and O'Sullivan Law Firm. So if you or your friend or a family member are in an accident, please tell them to call Scott first. We have a phone number or the website in the description of this video. Yeah, and really, he's a great guy. Uh, he really cares about his clients. And uh, you guys, he's, he's a Tacoma owner. He's a Tacoma owner. Yeah. What more do you want? Yes. All right, so um, now that we're uh, hooked up and we've got our taco back from the uh, dealership, I want to do two things. In the first video, we're just going to tow with it up the steepest road. Yes. And see if the front dip holds up. <laughs> and then on the off-road part, we're going to kind of do a slight goofy comparison between it and the Acti. Yeah. And see how it does going up two stone. I never thought there would come a day that the Tacoma would be the big truck compared to a small truck. <laughs> but, but we are doing it. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, there's mid-size compact trucks and then K trucks, of course. <laughs> mini, mini yeah. ones. The question I'm asking myself is, are we both going to go up the hill or just one of us in the Acti? No, I think it's me and the Tacoma against you and the, or vice versa. Oh, I see. You're going to take the Tacoma up and I'm going to do the Acti up, huh? Okay. All right, well, let's head up to... Uh, Let's set up to Lick Skillet, yeah, and see how Let's this goes. Do yeah. By the way, we need to get that uh, brake control installed. Well, there's a space for it right there. Yeah. You see this little hole? It's right now like a coin slot. Yeah. Well, I mean, the coins could fall out, but uh, we can. We should. We should do this. I we mean, this, this, this is certainly usable by one person, but I think I'd rather have, you know, something I can just reach to as opposed to grabbing it from, you know, the cup holder. Yeah, you know what this is great for? If you have like a business where you have multiple old trucks yeah. and you're towing trailers, yeah. you could swap that, right? And actually tow with multiple trucks. How much are those? Oh, we bought it a long time ago. It was like 300 bucks. They're not cheap. No. Oh, yeah. Might as well get a built-in one. Yeah, that yeah, seems like the right solution for the right job. Pedal to the metal. Is that full throttle? Well, no. Now, now it's full. That's tow. Well, right now it's really smooth. Yeah. Oh wait, there's some scraping going on here. The road grader here. Don't ram the road grader, Andre. Yeah. Or the UPS truck, Andre. No, we're good. By the way, I engaged tow haul mode. Yes. Everything is proper. We do have a turbocharged engine, of course, in this new taco, and an eight-speed auto. My question is, are we going to go into four high when we go up like Skillet? I think so. You know, I've, I've towed on that road, I think once or twice before. Yeah. I, I prefer not to tow on that road. It's so steep. Yeah. But I think you need four by four because otherwise the rear tires might just be spinning, you know, hauling that weight up the mountain. And the other unknown right now is obviously there's no snow here, but we're going into the mountains and March is our snowiest month. Yes. So there could be snow on Lake Skillet, in which case uh, I'm not sure anything can get up it, let alone towing up it. Yeah, or towing down it. Yeah, or towing down it. Which could be crazy. All right, well, let's uh, let's hit the road, Jack. Okay. Oh, sorry, Andre, and <laughs> let's... I like Jack, I have a, my dog's name is Jack. Yeah, you have a few dogs. Yeah. Let's go, uh, let's go tow up some steep hills and uh, off-road up some uh, steeper hills. Use chains when icy. Keep coming, Cole. Another use chains when icy. Andre's over here. Steep, narrow road. Yeah? Yeah, this is serious, dude. Ah, uh, Roman, I did not bring chains. But it's not icy. No. I mean, at least not here. So right now it's packed, packed dirt, but it could be icy. We don't want to back up this, because we'll jackknife if we back up this. So we want to roll the dice and see. Well, then let's at least turn the next corner. All right, I had the most terrifying experience coming up here. I was coming up once in a tundra, actually, and there was a road grader trying to scoop all the oh. ice. Oh. And then, actually, let's ask these guys. How about if we do that? Okay. okay let me ask him. Let me, let, me, let me ask him a quick question. Okay. Hey, just stop. Quick. Sorry, quick question. Is, is it good icy up there? Or is it yeah. Okay, thank you very much. You're good. You're yeah, good. yeah, we were a little worried towing. Yeah, you're going to be fine. It's, there's no ice. Okay, okay all great. Right, all the way down to uh, uh, the, the middle part of the Switzerland Trail spine. It's a, okay, that's yeah. great to know. I love we were just worried about the steepest part yeah, there. It's yeah. all fine. I love, okay. I love your KTMs, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, thank sweet you. bikes. Wow. Thank all right, thanks, much. guys. So Andre, before we turn on four high, yeah. uh, let's roll that video where you picked this truck up at the dealership after uh, you know they said it was fixed. Let's do that. Today is a happy day, my friend. It is, good news. Yes, we are back at the dealer to pick up our beloved 2024 Toyota Tacoma Blueberry. Yep, yep. Blueberry. Uh, it, for those of you who may have remembered, we had a slight problem with it on the trail. We basically lost four wheel drive. Yeah, we lost basically front wheel drive. And I dropped it off here eight days ago, exactly. Uh -huh. And now they told me it's ready. That's right. So they had to do what? Remove the front transfer case? Uh, front differential. Yeah, French, yeah. Differential. So in this video, we're going to show you what happened. We're going to show you, explain what went wrong and also test drive it. 
Yeah, that's right. And so we're gonna also show you a couple scenes of uh, <laughs> where it went wrong. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's go. Let's go check it out and get it. Nathan, I see it. It's right there. Yep. There's our sheet, and it comes out to one million dollars. No, one kidding. million. All right. So they were nice enough to wash it. It's. I'm pretty impressed at the response. First of all, not just by the dealership. But, but Toyota themselves, right? Yeah. Because like we discussed last time, with communication, they put 20 people on this project. They were really wanting to know what happened and how they can help. And bear in mind, this isn't gonna happen for your average consumer and we get that. And we also know we're privileged to be journalists. Well, because we know people on the corporate side. But there's more to that. This is one of the earliest models out there. We got one of the first. So. Yes. They in want fact, to make sure that everything is working properly, as this will become a big seller. All right. In fact, sorry, it was almost uh, stepping on you there. Yeah. Um, when we bought it here, most of the salespeople and service people has never have never seen the new Tacoma before. That's correct. So that's how new this was. All right. Let's jump in and show what happened uh -huh. as far as uh, money and as far as what happened and drive it. That goes up fast. <laughs> That's Holy a, cow. I need that door at my house. It's like a reverse guillotine. <laughs> Holy cow. Nathan, the blueberries in the wild. The blueberries back, baby. Yes. So, all right, let's discuss a few things. Okay. So first of all, uh, we need to show what happened. How about we roll that footage now of us off-roading when we encountered the problem? All right. Oh, that wasn't good. I wonder what that was. There's no fluid or anything visible, so. All right, let me do this. Let, tell me the front wheels are turning. Okay. No. By the way, the truck was drivable. Yeah. Always. Mm -hmm. Except we just lost four wheel drive. Right. We figured out that the front drive shaft was spinning, mm -hmm. but the front differential was not engaging. Correct. That's it. Yeah. A and then. We spoke to Toyota, like we said, and they said, indeed, something, a part broke in the front differential that they called also a fuse that in extreme conditions, it's supposed to break in this matter, except our conditions were not extreme. Right. So they're still working and investigating, but we have our truck back. Let's, uh, let's see. First of all, it's covered under warranty. Right. Zero point zero zero dollars were paid. Yay. Okay. Yay. So I actually spoke to somebody at Toyota about warranty questions because this is a big question that is out there right now. Yeah, our, our folks have been asking about it, that's for sure. And not just with Toyotas, with all vehicles, right? Uh, there is a story about Tesla Cybertruck not being covered for off-roading right. under warranty. There is a question about Jeep not covered under warranty. So basically, Toyota's stance is it's a case-by-case -case basis, right? they would investigate an incident, let's say something happened off-road, right? And if something, if we were being, you know, really careless and did something really, really dumb, it could not be covered under warranty. Right. But it wasn't the case here. We were just on a small trail in the snow. We were not doing something insane. I'd like to call it low effort four by four. Yes. Yeah, because I don't think we were really being extreme. So now, let me read what the, um, the dealership actually provided here. Found front differential clutch sleeve separated and will not engage axles in four-wheel drive. Drove the vehicle in and it will electrically go into 4x4. So they confirmed what, they, what we did. Mm -hmm. On the dash and it will come out of 4x4. Placed vehicle on a lift and put it in four-wheel drive and found that the transfer case engages exactly what we found. The front drive shaft spins and the ADD actuator, so automatic differential disconnect. Right. Actuator is moving, but the front div does not engage. Opened case with, this is a technical case, mm -hmm. with uh, 
an escalation team, basically, at Toyota, performed full health check, attached uh, the, to the case, installed a new differential. So in this case, they replaced the entire differential. Right. But in theory, you do not have to do that. Um, they wanted our old differential to study, but you could just replace that sleeve or whatever the product broke and then reinstall the differential, basically. Right, I understand. Performed alignment and new health check and cleared all codes, if any, and, and data. Vehicle engages and disengages in four-wheel drive now, working as designed. That's wonderful. I'm glad they said that. Now let's test it. Here you go. It's not that I don't believe them, but I don't believe anybody. <laughs> exactly. In this world, we have to check it for ourselves. Yep. Our four-wheel drive actuator is on the um, console here. It's on the right, which is two-wheel drive. Now, four-wheel drive high is in the middle and four low. So we don't have to test four low quite now. No, as long as it goes into four high, I'm pretty happy. And we know two-wheel drive works because we just parked. Yes. So let's flip it over into four high. I heard, I heard something. something. It's blinking. So this is typical of Toyotas, mm -hmm. right? Let me try to put it. There it is. It stopped blinking. It's happy. It's in four high. Now, it said that before, though. It said it was in four high and four low and all that when you broke it. Yes. Okay. So here's the question. Is how, it actually in four high? How do we know? Well, we can turn. We'll turn and see if it crabs a little gently bit. Gently on pavement. Yes. I know a lot of you will probably scream now, uh, guys, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Well, we're doing this too, just as a confirmation. Let me pause because somebody is driving. Mm -hmm. This guy's going to go in and get it out quite a okay. bit. Okay. So let me turn. Feeling resistance? Yeah, a lot of uh, resistance. I can feel it even from the passenger seat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there. Uh -huh. There's a lot of resistance there. Excellent. That's good. That's a really good sign. That's a good sign. It wasn't doing that last time. No. We tried to make it do that. Not at all. Let me back up briefly and actually disengage four wheel drive. Okay. And then we can drive again. Ah. Bam. Bam. Disengaged. And that's what you, you, you want to be sure something happens and you right. can actually hear it. Let me drive again. Oh my gosh. No resistance. The steering is slight. There is no front wheel drive. Uh, so definitely there is a definite difference. We have four wheel drive. I'm hundred percent sure. All right. So you kind of think it was working when you picked it up. Yeah. I, I felt really, really um, a lot of tension in the f steering on pavement. Well, today we'll know. So let's yeah. go into four high because this is getting very steep and deep. Toe there. hole mode. Yeah, we're still, let me check. There you go. So whole mode, mode, four high. We've reset everything. And um, I don't think we need four low. No. I mean, we're not doing something. I mean, if we were, you know, our Hummer broke down in the mountains one, remember? I remember. And we had to come down in the snow. Yeah. And I was in four low in my, in my Chevy truck because I wanted to slow down that heavy load. But I don't think we'll be doing that today. I'm just, I'm just dreading that snap, Andre. But this time, no. you're driving, so you get oh. the comments. Oh, great! Thanks. You get the bad towing comments. Thanks. Yeah, it's always a good idea because how steep this is, four-wheel drive is always a good idea. Of here. course, you just end up with more control. Yeah. Yeah, and even if it's not, you know, snowy, it does get muddy. Yes. So far, so good. You're going quickly, my man. Well, I, I want momentum. Luckily, we've got turbos or turbo. Yeah. Uh, how well, much power do we have now? So it's yeah. So it's a 2.4, yeah. right? It's the new engine that they put in the Taco. This new gen. Um, it's 278 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque. Um, so yeah, but the torque that comes in at like 1700 RPM. So it's very torquey at the lower RPM. Yeah, we're gonna need that, especially as we get farther up the like skillet and it starts to get much steeper than we are. And it's hard to show that on camera, just how steep this is. Yeah. But uh, believe me, we're kind of pushing the, the, the bounds of, of towing. 
Yeah, if we meet a grader on this road, Roman, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, we're gonna we're gonna ask him to back up, Andre. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. All right, this is where it gets steep, Andre. It's getting mega steep. All right, I'm making a wide turn, and I need to use a lot of throttle to climb this. Is it going, Andre? It's it's going, but it's very slow going because I slowed down there and it, regaining momentum is not easy. Well, we had to stop because we just crashed a drone into a tree. Yeah. That's how steep it is. Even the drone can't go up this hill. <laughs> but the taco maybe can. Yeah, the taco can, but the drone can't without crashing. Oh, I'm losing traction, dude. It's a little slick here. <laughs> it's a little nail bitey, that's what it is. This little engine's working pretty hard. But no snap from the, uh, is it ADD? D -D. Yeah, no snap from the ADD, that's good. Please don't talk about snaps right now. I'm, I'm trying to drive up this mountain. <laughs> I don't need to hear that. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think the truck's doing really well, actually. Yeah, uh, but, but, but it's not icy, but it is muddy. It is muddy, which is not making it easy. No, I think, I think you wouldn't be able to do this in two-wheel drive. I don't want to try it, because I don't want to get stuck. Whoa! <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to keep momentum, Roman, because if I slow down again, it's not going to be happy. Well, yeah, but you, you don't have to fly up this hill, Andre. No, I'm not flying. I just need momentum. It's 15 miles an hour. And you're doing 16. <laughs> now 11. Dude, I'm full throttle. You're full throttle or doing 11? Yes. Oh, well, we might have to go to low range. I can't stop again. <laughs> I don't want to stop again. Now you're at the 13. That's good. Uh, I, I don't think I'm overheating. My coolant is staying normal. Yeah. Can you go into your, your temperatures? I'm trying. These gauges, dude. No, just, I, like, I, I just can't. Gauges are just I, I just Sorry, can't use just gauges. Crap. To go left or right. Go left or right. I, I don't know. I'm go driving. Left. Go left. Not driving with the little buttons. Oh, there. My transmission is overheating. Is it? Not overheating, but look. It's reaching almost towards red. Yeah. Do you Finally, see that? Yeah, I know. The gate setup is just so... Silly. It's not intuitive. No. I think we did it. I this is we, Gold Hill. Yeah, we made it without overheating the transmission. Please. Please, one I, more. I, I don't want to put out a video where the second video <laughs> in our series is first we broke the front diff. Then and, we, the and, transmission <laughs> fell out. <laughs> we overheated the transmission. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Look, look at the temperature. It's almost to the top. It's, Why don't you let the camera guy shoot that? That's the lower bar is the transmission temp. All right, I just figured out the name for this video. What? Extreme towing. It was extreme towing. That's extreme towing. There's no joke. No, that is extreme towing, yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely extreme towing. For two miles, but that is extreme towing. Uh, temperature. Sorry, my heart got beating up there pretty quick because I was using almost all the throttle and the truck was not accelerating. Now the transmission is cooling down, hopefully. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting better. And luckily we're doing this in the winter, imagine if it was hot. Yeah. What's the outside temperature right now? It's 50. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty chill out there. Okay. <laughs> you and your... <laughs> That's my turbo blow-off valve. <laughs> you got a Ugatri's turbo blow-off valve. <laughs> All right, Alrighty. so um, now if you guys want to see us actually off-roading this, yeah. you're going to have to go to alltfl.com because the next part of the video is going to be on off-road. Yeah, different channels, right? Yeah, yeah, so we're going to put that on off-road because, well, we're going to go off-roading. Uh, so, um, yeah, head on over to alltfl.com uh, and check out uh, part two as we take the Tacoma versus the Acti up Tombstone Hill.